last time on Minecraft Through Time. We should be able to find some different types of colored stained clay. Large spruce trees we can now grow. Now let's see if this thing can take us to Minecraft 1.8. I'll see you guys in Minecraft 1.8. Alright. Yes, 1.8. Oh my gosh, we made it guys. 1.8. My favorite Minecraft update. Yeah, 1.8, I was playing a lot of Minecraft. If you guys have been following the MyLithical SMP, you might have seen I was playing a good amount of Minecraft in 1.8. And a lot of cool things added to the game. We're going to go over those in this episode of Minecraft Through Time. What is going on, guys? Jayblader here. And I want to say that almost 90% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. It's free to do so. You'll just get a little uh, little notification in your sub box that says, hey, I uploaded a video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I've got big things are coming. But right now we're stuck in 1.8 and I need to get to 1.15, 1.16. Last time we, we tried one of those, uh, well, a few times ago, we tried one of those dirt time machines that one of my friends recommended. Did not work, but it looks like it's, it's cleaned up over there. So that's good. And 1.8, we got a ton of stuff to explore here. First thing first. Enchanting has been updated with the lapis block, or with the lapis, so now what we're able to do is put this in here. It takes less levels, but it takes lapis to do the enchantment. However, that's a good thing. We're going to be able to get better enchants. We're going to be able to use our anvil to combine better things, and I'm really looking forward to playing this normally. We also have some corrupted blocks. Isn't that fun? Oh, isn't it just the best? It is the best. Alright. Anyway, thank you guys for being here today. 1.8. A lot of cool stuff, okay? Well, okay, this came with the horse update. Okay, this came with 1.6. But there's a lot of cool blocks and updates to this version, and I am uh, really excited to hop into it. So let me get uh, a few things together so we can uh, do a little preparation. And uh, that is going to involve me going over to the skeleton farm. And getting some levels because I really want to get a little bit better gear before we um, before we go and do all the stuff that I want to do in today's video. So hopefully this syncs up. We're gonna head over there um, and we're gonna tr see what else we can do. Oh, this is interesting. So it canceled my other portal for some reason. All right, let's head over to the skeleton farm. Hopefully this syncs. Oh, it's not because it's not open on the other side. Okay. I think this is it. I managed to dig my way here. Yes, we made it. Okay, so yeah, if you had guys haven't seen this, this was our skelly farm. Do I still have some blocks over here? Yeah, I do have a ton of stuff. So what we're going to end up doing is enchanting some stuff today. Try and get a little bit better, better gear because I really want to go raid an ocean monument in today's episode. They are one of the things that came out in 1.8 and they're one of my favorite features and I really like them so we're going to go check that out also hopefully this these spawners should still be working so let's hope this works still oh yep he goes up a little bit slower than usual that's okay cool cool so this thing is still functioning so I'm going to sit here and get some levels and let's talk about some of the other stuff in 1.1.8 Alright, we got a few levels now, and it's time to do some enchanting. I'm going to be taking some of the stuff back to my base, actually. Let's head over there, and let's do a little bit of enchanting. Try to improve our gear before we hop. Wait, I do have saddles over here. Dang it, I could have got a horse the other episode. Man, I'm stupid. Okay, anyway. Maybe we'll get a horse another day. It's okay, we found them. But we just didn't bring any of them back here, because I forgot I had saddles. That's what I get for having two separate storage areas and not having them together. Okie dokie, okie dokie. We're back over here. So some of the coolest things that I think are in this update are going to be, wait for it, wait for it, armor stands, okay? And armor stands, if you don't know, you can actually do a lot of stuff with armor stands. Yes, okay, you can actually do a lot of cool stuff with armor stands and commands, which you might see in servers like Hermitcraft. They do a lot of cool stuff with armor stands, but armor stands are in this update, so that's pretty cool. We also have, in my opinion, one of the better additions to the game. It added a lot of personalization options to the game, and that is banners. And so you still have to color them the old-fashioned way um, in this update. 
like this. Um, you can't use a loom yet, but I think banners are a really awesome addition as well. Uh, slime blocks were also added in 1.8, and even though I don't have a ton of slime, um, slime blocks are probably one of the most revolutionary things added to redstone since the redstone update. So uh, that is pretty nifty as well. So let's put some of these items away. All right, and with these levels, we're going to be able to do some enchanting. So basically, what I really want is a better chest plate and better boots. Those are the two things that I really want. Let's see, feather falling is awesome. Okay, we got feather falling there. And we got better pants there. So that's an upgrade. We'll go ahead and put these on. And then let's combine these two. Okay. So with that, we should be able to survive a little bit longer when we go and raid an ocean monument. Because like I said, ocean monuments also were added in 1.8, which is pretty cool. And another really cool thing uh, that you guys may have even not a thought about if you haven't been playing Minecraft that long. But you know, when we've been mining, we haven't been encountering any diorite or andesite or granite but that is because it is added in 1.8 which is pretty cool um so we're gonna go find some of that because i actually really like those blocks we're gonna go find some of those and we're gonna raid an ocean monument before we come back here and uh try to move on to 1.9 or something along those lines so let me get my explorer pants on here we're going to craft a boat so that we can hop across the oceans and whatnot we're going to, let's see, I got I got a fire resistant potion. We might want to make a few other potions. We're going to be careful about it either way. And let's see, might want a sharpness sword too. Yeah, so I'll think about getting a sharpness sword. And either way, we're going to find that ocean monument. Let's see if we can take it on. Going on an adventure over the oceans. Let's see if we can't find us an ocean monument. I swear if another squid breaks my boat, I'm going to rage. Okay, we we made it here. This is what an ocean monument looks like. Oh man, this is exciting. I haven't done one of these in a long time, especially not like without OP gear and stuff. So this is going to be interesting. Um, okay. All right. I've done these before. There's going to be a thing that comes over that's going to stop us from mining. It's going to give us something called mining fatigue. I had to go like 1700 blocks out to find this thing. Okay, we're going to make a little safe area here. Just in case things go south. Luckily, there doesn't seem to be too many guardians here. We're going to set a bed here. I can only sleep at night, of course. Okay, so the trick here is going to be using oak doors to replenish. Wait, there's no, there's no opening here. There's usually an opening on top. All right, well... That's why I brought the milk bucket. So there's a guy here. What I'm going to do is just stand right into him like this. Bam. Got him done. One and done. There's... Don't give me mining fatigue. Don't give me mining fatigue. There's another one right here. Ooh, don't give me mining fatigue. Okay. Let's get this guy. Oh. Oh. The zaps hurt. Alright, so what's nice is that we can place these doors here and they can't see us. And we can regen and they don't regen. Okay, that's unfortunate. Should have brought more than one milk bucket, I guess. That is okay. Let's see if I can shoot him. I can. Eee. I'm going to run out of arrows eventually. Okay, let's go for it. Come here, buddy. There should be one more after this. But yeah, 1.8, they added this, which these are a challenge, right? I mean, I think they're kind of difficult. Ow. Because you got these little guardians. And then with all these guardian farm things, we also get, on top of this, the prismarine blocks, which the prismarine blocks are amazing, I think. We get the prismarine shards. We get sponges, which really helped a lot um, when clearing out projects and stuff like that. So it's pretty nice. All right, now we got four minutes left on the mining fatigue. We re Oh yeah, sea lanterns, what a nice block as well. Let's see if we can't make our way to the other side of this thing. And at the other side, we're gonna find one more guardian and then we just gotta wait out the mining fatigue. And then we can destroy blocks, we can do whatever we want. Sometimes the trick to um, 
to beating these guys is just to move right into them or to break their line of sight. So sorry if this is kind of hard to see. I know it is it is also dark for me. So this is the center here. There shouldn't be one in this chamber. It should be on the other side. I'm just kind of taking the long way around so that these guys don't shoot me. You see how you move into them. They don't really like that. Ow. They do hurt a little though. Let me get my air bubbles back. Okay. And then over here, we should be able to find the last Elder Guardian. We're going to take him down, and we're going to see if there's any sponges in this place. All right, the brightness is up as high as it'll go here. So I am sorry if it is dark. It is dark for me as well. Nothing I can do here. Ooh, I hear a bat. Okay, the last guy's right here. We're going to build us a little wall of defenses, or the doors, and we're going to try to take this guy out. Come here. Come here, come here. This is where the Depth Strider enchant is really good. Which I don't have it. One more hit. Bam. We got him. Alright. This hath been defeated. I'm going to wait out the Mining Fatigue. Mining Fatigue. We've got two minutes left of it. Okay. We're going to wait this one out. I'll come back in two minutes and we're going to look for that sponge room. And Mining Fatigue is gone. We're free. We're home free. We can mine some blocks now. Unfortunately, I don't really have a fast way to get around here, but we're just going to be looking for the sponge room. And to do this, the easiest way I do it is I just kind of poke holes all the way through this place. Um, we're looking for a room like this where it's dark prismarine. And not every... I don't have silk touch, so I'm going to leave the sea lanterns. Not every um, place has one, but as you can see, this one does... And some places actually have two. So it's a really good idea to just look really hard for a uh, for sponge rooms. Make sure that you dig around and you poke holes and you try to find uh, the sponge rooms. There are cases where I said like they, they don't always spawn. Um, but I would say like 80% of the time, 4 out of 5 times, there's going to be a sponge room. And I would say one out of five times, there's going to be two sponge rooms. It is rarer, but in my experience, that's kind of what it comes down to. So, let's grab these sponges, and then we're going to find some andesite. And some of those new stone blocks that they added. And I think we're going to do that by just mining straight down. Alright, underneath this thing is just gravel. Let's keep on heading down. And then we're going to block ourselves in. Okay. I'm sorry that it is dark. Let's see what we can do about that. There we go. Okay. So I'm on the lookout for the new stone variants. <gasps> there we go. There is andesite. Oh, man. I missed finding andesite when I was mining. It's like a lot of people get annoyed by andesite. But I really like these blocks. And I really like polished andesite. It's pretty nice. You know, people give it a hard time because it clutters up their inventory. I miss the days. I mean, I, I respect the days of all stone mining, but uh, I also really appreciate the, uh, the andesite and stuff as well. So, All right, here's another one, granite. Not my favorite, but I do like the new granite textures of 1.14 and up a little bit more, I must say. But, yeah, granite, still not a bad texture. I think it works really well with brick. If you've ever tried it with uh, with the red brick, I think it actually works really well. I think it's a nice accent block. It can be mixed with brick in a variety of buildings and paths. And we only need one more. I'm just doing a little bit of strip mining. And there it is, diorite. A lot of people hate diorite. I am not, I'm not against diorite. I think diorite can work if you guys have seen my... Uh, old live streams on the MyLithical SMP, you know, I've, I've built houses out of diorite. Um, I usually mix it with other white blocks, like quartz and, and maybe even some concretes and stuff. And uh, I actually think it works quite nicely, especially once you get the stair variants and stuff like that. So I don't think it's that bad. Um, but yeah, now that we have all these stone variants, 1.8, look at our 1.8 inventory here. It is crazy. Anyway, with that, it is time to head back to the base. We're going to craft some diamond blocks. We're going to hop through the time machine and see if we can't make our way 
uh, to 1.9, which is a little bit smaller of an update. This was a huge update, um, but an exciting one. So let's head back to the base. So now we actually need to make a new chest here for all of our new blocks. So let's put our prismarine ones away. And then let's also go ahead and make one for all these stone variant blocks. Yet again, a lot of people don't like them. I am a fan. I really like them. So that's pretty cool. And then we'll put some of this other stuff away as well while we are here. Why not? Why not? And then it is time. Oh, I'm almost out of... Wait, I am out of diamonds. Well, <laughs> I guess we got to do some mining if we want to make it through to 1.9. So let's get on it. All right, little mini mining session over. We were able to find some diamonds. Let's go ahead and craft these things up. Three diamond blocks. All right, we're only going to use one of them for right now. Hopefully that'll be enough to get us to, uh, to Minecraft 1.9. I don't want to move too fast here because I think we may jar the world. And I'm, I'm worried about that. So uh, it is time to move on. Let's see if we can get to Minecraft 1.9. Nine. Oh yeah, this is working. Alright, diamond blocks are doing the trick. I guess I'll see you guys in 1.9.